Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video at the end of June of this year, 2021, that the CPU requirements to be able to upgrade to Windows 11 could eventually be lowered by Microsoft. And at the time of posting that video, Windows 11 had just started out in the Insider program, where Microsoft said they were first planning to test the OS, and if performance was good enough, support could eventually be added for 7th Gen Intel and AMD Zen 1 CPUs as well. Now, due to the testing of Windows 11 in the Insider program over the last couple of months, Microsoft has now recently um, announced that some 7th Gen Intel processors will now be added to the list of supported processors that will let you be able to upgrade to Windows 11, where previously you had to have a minimum of an 8th Gen Intel CPU. So it looks like now some of you with 7th Gen Intel processors, processors will also be able to upgrade now to Windows 11 as well. And I will leave a list of those newly added supported 7th Gen Intel processors down below for you to go check out. Now regarding AMD, the AMD Ryzen 1000 series will still remain unsupported at this stage according to Microsoft. So AMD Zen 1 CPUs currently are still unsupported. Now the other news is that Microsoft has now created a loophole that will allow more Windows 10 users who do not meet the uh, Windows 11 system requirements to upgrade their machines to Windows 11. But that will not be through the Windows update process. You will have to manually install Windows 11 using the media creation tool or an ISO image of Windows 11 when, it, um, when Windows 11 rolls out to the public later this year. Now, if you don't meet the official Windows 11 system requirements, Microsoft says you will remain in an unsupported state though. Now at this stage, it's not exactly clear what this unsupported state actually means, but I would say that it would mean that you wouldn't get as many driver updates or patches or cumulative updates as a supported device would. But as I say, this is unclear at the moment and Microsoft at this stage hasn't really added uh, more to what an unsupported state actually means. And the system requirements now are um, TPM 1.2, you will need TPM 1.2 enabled. TPM 2, version 2, is still the minimum system requirement. But regarding this latest loophole, you will need TPM 1.2 enabled, 64 gigabytes of storage space, 4 gigs of RAM, and a dual core 64-bit CPU as well. So that's TPM 1.2, 64 gigabytes minimum of storage space, 4 gigs of RAM, and a dual core 64-bit CPU to be able to upgrade using the media creation tool or an ISO image when Windows 11 rolls out later this year. So it looks like uh, more Windows 10 PCs will be able to uh, actually upgrade uh, to Windows 11 when it rolls out to the general public later this year. Um, but as I've mentioned, uh, Microsoft at this stage says your device will remain in an unsupported state, unsupported state, which at this stage is not too clear exactly what that means. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.